The Diaspora Day has become a platform for Nigerians outside the country to productively engage and collaborate with the Nigerian government and other stakeholders in increasing contributions to the nation's development. This statutory commemoration is set to hold again this year on the 25th of July. Moyo Thomas reports, and then we'll have business news. Diaspora Day, which started about three years ago, has continued to grow as a platform that draws closer Nigerians in diaspora, giving them the opportunity to give back to their country of origin. The yearly event, which is the brainchild of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, allows Nigerians outside the shores of the country to invest in various sectors of the economy. This has become important as it gives relevance and recognition to the over 17 million Nigerians outside the country. Considering how well Nigerians are doing abroad and contributing meaningfully to their host country, a platform that enables them to contribute skills and financial resources to Nigeria is imperative. In 2021, in spite of the ravaging COVID-19 pandemic, we still topped, we came highest in terms of diaspora home remittances in sub-Saharan Africa, with about $20 billion being sent back home. So we can't ignore the diaspora. You ignore the diaspora at your own expense. And you know, people still tell me diaspora, diaspora, that some still don't understand, but we cannot ignore our diaspora. In 2018 alone, the Nigerian diaspora in United Kingdom, London, United Kingdom, were responsible for the remittance of over 2.8 billion to Nigeria, thus accounting for 1% of the country's GDP during that period. 2018. This singular data from the World Bank is a pointer to the importance of the UK-based Nigerian diaspora attached to national uh, development. One of the issues Nigerians in diaspora strongly hold dear is opportunity to vote in Nigeria's election, considering the high remittance contributed to the country. Chairman of NEEDCOM says continued advocacy is needed to realize this as Nigerians in diaspora organization NIDO UK says it has written over 200 letters to the National Assembly to consider a reform that enables them vote. The Diaspora Day as a platform has helped Nigeria attract investment from diasporans in areas of medicine, ICT, food businesses and others. This year's Diaspora Day promises to do more. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.